which is the graph of the absolute value of x plus 2. Well, here um, we can recognize it immediately as choice 3. The absolute value function looks like this V shape. If we add 2 to it, the whole graph shifts up. But here, you don't really have to know that or memorize that. You could just plug this into a table where x and y are a couple of key values to figure out if you found the graph that, that matches. So let's choose 0, negative 2, and positive 2. So here, if you plug in 0 to this equation, we get 0 plus 2 or 2. So it has to have the point 0, 2, which it does. So choice 1 can still be correct, so could choice 2, and so could choice 4. They all contain that point. But if you plug in negative 2, the absolute value of negative 2 is just what? Well, that's 2. Plus 2 is 4, so here we should get 4. So we need to have that point negative 2, 4. This graph has it, right? This graph right here also has it, so we haven't found out yet. 4 does not have it. We only in one choice. And here it looks like um, 2 has it as well. So, okay, we're not sure yet. Plug in 2 and we should get uh, 4 as well. So here, graph 1 does not have that value. Graph 2 does, so we need to test more values. Let's just test, um, I don't know, let's test 3. If I plug in 3, I should get 3 plus 2 is 5. Graph 3 has it, but this graph does not have 5, has a much higher point, so that's out. So just by testing, you know, x values, by plugging x values into your equation and seeing what points that those form, because these are each points, 0, 2, negative 2, 4, 2, 4, and 3, 5, if those points aren't on your graph, then it's not your graph, your function, right? Just test them out.